What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're headed back to East Texas to make some progress. And it's actually been a couple days since I've been there. Uh, but uh, we're back doing some work over here on the Tyler Barnuminium. And you know, it's, it's all about kind of staging progress when you can. The weather has been so up and down with the rain. Uh, so uh, you're gonna see in this video where uh, we spend a little time working on that front entrance. And hopefully you like this viewpoint a little bit better. We're trying to figure out whether or not you guys may or may not want to experience some of this work. But I think you might like this one. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get it going. Huge, massive tree, guys. Fell down. I mean, this thing is probably got to be 200 years old. It already had split from one storm and they would clean that up, but I just got here. And I guess this happened this past week with the storms. And it was more than it could handle. So, I mean, this is probably from here to this side, the root structure alone is like almost 20 feet wide. I always hate that, but this one here was gonna be a focal point for my driveway. So I was coming up and around that. Nevertheless, we're here and I'm kind of surveying everything after this past bit of rain. And look, we got more rain coming tonight. It's like, this is Wednesday. I think it's supposed to either come tonight or tomorrow. And I'm just doing everything I can over here, but it keeps raining nonstop. So this was what I did at the end of last week. And I came in here, I added this dirt. Basically what we're trying to do is to uh, get this level right. You can see if I stay low over there, it'd be like this big dip and then me trying to ramp up and over. So we're building this up with select fill and uh just so you know there's still still water running through this every time i've ever been here My so I don't initial know. intention here was with this overall thing was to kind of make this a parallel with the road there and you kind of turn into this but uh, the client actually is wanting to maybe add some concrete in pieces on this culvert, which means I'm probably going to end up pulling this out anyways. So I'm having a similar problem with this because of the height. You know, we did put a little bit extra bigger culvert here. And this is what I'm, I've been considering is moving this a little bit further this way. But you can kind of see what I was going for on the entrance here. My first uh, goal here is I'm going to kind of move all this gravel this way um, from that side as well as this side. And then I'm going to push this up and out of the way. We're going to be moving this culvert over about 10 feet. Uh, so I have to dig out a little bit and we're going to take all these concrete bags out and try to make preparation for, for it all. road has definitely packed in a little bit better since I was over here last time. Which is a good thing. Again, I'm just going to pop up all this good work that me and Brandon did. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and push that over here. I could give you guys multiple angles here because this is only brought one camera there so I don't know 
we'll do the same thing basically on this side, which you'll be able to see a little bit better. Move some of this dirt out of the way. One thing I can appreciate about what Kyler Shaw, he's the guy that's been bringing me all this material. Uh, one thing I appreciate he did this time is uh, he didn't dump it directly in the ditch. That's been a little bit of a challenge. Oh yeah, look at the Takeuchi getting a big push over here. Making it happen with this big machine. <laughs> it's been a nice machine. I, I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed having it. Air conditioning cab, all that too, is a definite bonus. Again, I'm not in a major hurry here. I'm just trying to trying to get some of this out of the way. I want to kind of pop this up a little bit. Up and over. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, like I said, the customer has wanted me to put it in concrete end caps. So they sell those at the supplier, so Put a change order option together for that. Um, it will make them look nicer, a little bit nicer. I really never liked it the way we had this set in the first place, so you might say, well, it seems like you're just wasting time. Never a waste of time when you can do something right. It takes a little bit more time. And some of this stuff is all about finesse. You know, you dirt work sometimes. You might you might be right overall for the most part, but you could be uh Spending a little bit more time is going to be better for the project, and you're going to definitely spend a little bit more time packing things, doing whatever you might need to do. Okay, here comes Kyler. He's going to bring me another load. I'm just going to let him dump that right here next to the other one. Back here. Just trying to give him a definite direction where I want him to go here. If I can get him on back in here, I don't know. Tyler is uh, pretty awesome. He he always figures out a way to get these loads emptied out even in a weird situation this is kind of a weird situation what's up buddy hold him up just take circle Probably for sure, yeah. Maybe even four, but... You just tell me what's up. Yeah. 
Uh, well, I mean, it's really helping, and I pulled I pulled this culvert out because I'm going to move it about 10 foot this way. I think it'll help on the turn in. Why don't you help me look at that real quick? Because you know what you're looking at. I, I just feel like it's a little too far right now. I think, I think it is a little too far. Yeah, based on how I did build that up. I like how you built that up. Yeah. You know, and I don't think he's going to have to use as much brush concrete either. Yeah. I think you'll be better. Better off that way. Build well, the road up. Well, and that's the reason why I was doing it because, I mean, I have to build it up because I can't just make humps going over that stuff. Yeah. I think you're going to be better off that way. Really, I'm just trying to drop this down about four inches. I think what I want to do is switch to the forks and I'll just pick this up and move it a little bit. Never let it rest. So the good is better and the better is best. Oh yeah. Take the bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get the forks. a habit to try to bring all of this equipment with us every time every time we go somewhere so that for any given moment you need a piece or another attachment for some reason you can uh, have it at your disposal okay we got it, we got it. Let's go. Probably should have set a flag or a marker or something where I wanted this, but I can kind of tell where I was before. I think this is going to be pretty good. We might move it a little bit. See where that falls. Okay, a little high on the right side. Probably went a little bit too far. Seems a lot high on this other side. Get it down there in that spot, but I'm not sure if that's going to be low well enough for me. It's a lot better. Definitely a lot better. With a heavy cover. Gosh, it's a little muddy out here, too. Yeah, I think that is a lot better position-wise. Let me. Mm. Yeah, we're still, like I said, a little high on that end. I think I'm gonna go a little bit lower, really all the way across the board. I'm gonna go a little lower. We definitely want to get it right this time. I don't want to do this again, so. I probably should widen the forks on this. Theme music. Let's go. 
không có vào <cười> I'm just packing this in because I want it to be pretty consistent when I set this down in there so I don't have to push too much. Now let's set it back down in there and give it a try. Close to where I was. Yeah, right in here. Oh yeah, I definitely think that is going to be the money right there. Try to get it where I wanted it. All right. Getting ready to set this culvert permanently again. So the end piece wise, not sure yet. I'm gonna call Brandon real quick and see if he's been able to put that change order together yet so this is what i got this is what i got see the approach that i'm trying to make here to turn in from right here and ease into that straight away before we have to make a pretty sharp turn on the other side of that low-lying area so this is a 20 foot a uh, 24 inch no this is a 30 foot i think 30 foot i believe uh 24 inch culvert so, a lot of road here plenty of wide space to get in Well, got that set into place. I'm going to start adding a little bit more filler dirt back in there. Okay, well, I couldn't show you guys all my secrets, so I turned the camera off for a little while. You know, a lot of top secret stuff going on over here. But this is what I've come to. I just wanted to show you guys the progress. I did set that culvert. I do like that bend a little bit better. Um, but like I told you guys, for the end caps up there, the client approved a change order to put concrete end caps up there which will look a little nicer as well. So I think that's a good idea. Uh, also, it'll help stabilize that culvert. I like the positioning. I actually set that down a little more. Uh, that helped me accomplish a couple things. Number one, having a more uh, natural flow coming in off that road, even though, yes, I'm having to build this up all the way in. My gravel won't go to the furthest extents here. This is just, uh, you know, grade work is pretty much what I'm doing here. And I widened this whole area too, because as we come in and out and really bringing in big trucks, I'll show you, you're gonna end up trying to turn right, turn wide a little bit as you come in. So I'm gonna do my best to establish uh, a good wide open entrance here off of the second culvert because this is really where it gets crucial for the main turn um meanwhile 
we got rain coming again. Uh, even though all this is working really well, still water draining. <laughs> I think I'm going to show you guys that every time I come down through here. I didn't get to go up top and do much up there at all today. Uh, it's been all about this and getting this ready. And I've just about got it where I want it. You see, you can see right here. You, you see this keeps rutting up right here because everything I lay down almost, it just has moisture in it. So it's like I have to let this set up and dry. Um, but the good thing about this is I've got all this dirt, pretty much. I got a little bit of dirt left, but I left that for whatever we're going to do around this whenever I'm done. Uh, so this is the entrance coming in. This is the beginning. Tyler Barndo we're doing here. So a lot of good things to come here on this build. We're going to be showing you guys, updating you guys. But getting this these culverts in has been a huge challenge. But we're doing it right. Uh, got a little more to go, but I left, again, I left all this exposed because we're going to be tying on to all this with those concrete end caps. Uh, I didn't want to have to dig it out twice again. Again. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the progress. So one last thing, let me just tell you guys, a lot of you may be saying, hey, Josh, why don't you just go ahead and put the gravel down and be done? Well, this has been sort of a uh, method to our madness here, but an order of things, so to speak, because I can't get gravel back here to the road until I really get a good solid base here like if I want to bring a truck across here that weighs 80,000 to 100,000 pounds, you know, I've got to have a really good solid base here. So what we're having to do systematically is go ahead and stage this. Uh, the first loads of gravel that we're going to be laying down over top of this, once we put that geo mat over there that's in those rolls, we'll lay that out over this area. And the first loads uh, we'll dump over here so that we can start some of this entrance uh, that was my main plan now i was talking to kyler earlier and he thought that we might could wait to do the entrance so we're not tearing it up so we're gonna see what we do but it's been a method to our madness all right guys check check okay well i'll be back over here showing you more progress on this tyler build hope you guys enjoyed seeing the progress it's been uh, it's been a good day, beautiful day actually. We had threats of rain and everything else that was supposed to be happening out here by like two o'clock, and we're well past that time. So it's coming right along. You got to have good accessibility for Barnuminium, but you know you guys remember the video we posted before where everything was going wrong. But we're not getting stuck out here again. This is not going to happen. So. Anyways, uh, if you guys are wanting to build, check our bestbarndoplans.com. You can choose a plan right there. You can get all your perimeter square footage price, uh, pricing at the Barndo calculator on our linktree.com forward slash Texas Best Construction. It's been a pleasure doing this little video update for you guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't already followed us on Facebook and Instagram, Please do that now. I'm Josh Helm, wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas Best. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Texas Best.